they will work out of the pistol and uh, first play of the game, a, a throw and a completion to Dax Milne, the leading receiver. Out of the eye here on fourth and one. They will roll out Wilson. He will run for it and he will get it. They need a third down conversion here. Third and seven against the four man pressure. The deep ball, the diving grab inside the five for Gunnar Romney. And it's first and goal BYU. Roger Cray, the cornerback there. What else can you do? This is a perfectly thrown ball on third and seven. Look, I couldn't just walk over and hand it to Romney. That's how great of a pass that was. Defensive line for the Cougars in front of Algier. He'll try again and keeps the legs churning. And he's in for the touchdown. Henley moves up a spot if they would need him tonight. And a first down run here for Gage Walker, the senior out of Tampa. Against the four-man rush, the pass is away, and it's caught at midfield again by Mitchell Tinsley, their leading receiver, and he's got the first down yardage. By you to start the game. And now Western trying to counter. They need to convert the third and six. Pigram, another completion, and how about Piggy start? He's four for four on the night with a lot of short throws, and seven and zero oh since 2001, if they can get the win tonight to match that. That's the kind of success they've had, but so far, Tyrell Pigram is finding success on his own here for the Hilltoppers, another first down throw. Uh, it's been Xavier Lane, number nine, is his go-to guy on third down so far. Just a three-man front. They do get pressure on the quarterback and a sack. The field goal kicking department so far this year. Five for five for Braden Narvison. And his first attempt of the night is good. Off, so he doesn't have it anymore. He's got a bunch of new ones. And here he is, number one in white on the rollout. And the catch is made by Isaac Rex, the tight end. It's Milne, we've already known. He's the favorite target of Zach Wilson. Already a couple catches today. And off the bobble, the catch is made again. Two tight ends to the left side. The pitch, and they'll run it that way with Algier. No problem getting the first down. And the cut back at the 40, and the burst all the way down to the 21-yard line. First down, Cougars. Yard line of Western Kentucky. Wilson out of the gun with time. Rifles it down the middle, and it's caught for a touchdown. Dax Mill. And run it on the ground, and Gage finds some room down close to the 40 for Looks Walker. Looks like a fumble. Look, I think and that did the ball, ball came loose pop at the out end. at the tail end there? I think it came BYU out at the end. BYU says they've got it. Away for the Cougar defense. Let's see, where's that ball at? I don't see a knee down on the ground at first nope. look. And that was a nice little pop there. Looks like it was Zane Anderson got in there, got helmet right there on football. And Fourth down and one. On the rollout, the toss, first down to Neil Pau. Find a way to keep that coverage on. Algier looking impatient through the hole, waiting for his blocks. He's got the first down and more down inside the 10 yard line. Pini Katoa is now in in the backfield. Wilson will keep it and score it. Three possessions, three scores for BYU in the first half as they cash in the takeaway. They, they've had a good balanced run attack. Lopini Katoa is back in there, giving Algier the break and the hookup with Dax Mill. Play action, Wilson heaves it deep downfield, looking for Mill, who got a hand on it but could not haul it in. We talk about his accuracy, but look at the strength on Defense, that arm. number 29. That was on uh, Beanie Bishop, who is finally healthy and back in the lineup tonight for Western Kentucky. So would you say that ball landed about, about the two-yard line, Beth? But it also puts pressure on the defense. That time they got the penalty. On first down, out of the backfield, Katoa wide open. The cut back inside the 20, the 10, the 5, and he weaves his way into the end zone to win games and you can see the even keeledness on the sideline for sure. 
looking to make a big play here on third down. They're going to come up short. And so will they still be able to make an impact even undefeated as we get deeper into the season? And other teams will be playing a lot more. Of course, kind of wearing this secondary out. That is a frustration foul and a costly one for Western Kentucky. And that allows BYU to keep the football and Wilson to run across midfield for another first down. Bad situation. Wilson taking advantage. Over 200 yards of total offense. He'll throw for another first down to Milne. Who can hand it to? Third down and two. Katoa makes a move to get the first down and fights his way inside the 10-yard line here in Provo. And they're looking at a third and goal right now. And the same play and a different result. Isaac Rex with the touchdown grab. Five drives and five scores in the first half for BYU. Walker's got the ball and he's got the push forward for the first down. USC will be hosting Arizona State. And Walker will pick up another first down on the leaders. Maybe joining the college football playoff. You need those teams to lose maybe a couple times in order to have you in the discussion at the end for them. On second and five, Walker. First down yardage. Pigram drops it off from Moses with some work to do, and he will get close to the line to gain. 16th play of the drive. Can they extend it here with the conversion on fourth down? Blitz coming up the middle. Pigram will run from it. He's got the first down inside the five and spinning down to the one yard line. Walker again in the backfield on fourth and goal. They'll try and run it and Walker reaching across the line. They're going to spot him just short. And BYU holds, they will take over on downs with the ball spotted inside the one. Of Zach Wilson, but for me, I just love the ball placement, right? The ball placement for his footballs, except on that last one. Uh-oh, Beth, we got trouble. The interception for Western Kentucky, and that will end the streak for Zach Wilson, his first pick since their season opener five games ago. He once tonight at the one-yard line. Last time they were down here. And diving into the end zone and scoring is Joshua Simon. A 20 play, 10 minute drive earlier in this third quarter for Western Kentucky. All night long for Wilson, still looking. And he'll drop it off for Isaac Rex, who's got the first down. He's got to find somebody to keep these chains moving. And he's got him out to midfield and another questionable hit. Neil Pau, they've already had one guy ejected, Devin Key, for targeting in the first half. Unacceptable. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 16. That's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Of course, DJ uh, Uyungo Lele looked pretty good in his first start with over 300 yards passing and three touchdowns today. State as they start to rise up in the rankings. BYU beat Boise, their only loss of the year last year. Here is the 54 yard attempt from Old Royd, and it is no good wide to the left. But there is a penalty flag down. Look back at the defense. Running into the kicker, defense. It's a five yard penalty. It remains fourth down. Might uh, have an opportunity to re-kick here if they so choose. Uh, it will not be enough for the first down yard. This kick is on its way, and it is good. Another costly penalty for the Hilltoppers, and Old Roy gets the three on the board. If it's not there, take off, pick up the yards, and move the chains. Bind time, throws it downfield, and it is intercepted. Second takeaway for the Cougar defense. It's also Joe uh, Tukuafu in at center. He was the starter last week for the injured James Empey. And Romney going to air it out, incomplete. Oh, 
Sione Finau, first down on the run as a sophomore in high school. And just continued to get better and better and better. And of course, he's P when, they, when the rankings come out tomorrow. Everybody else was a winner in front of them. Kick is on its way. And it is good. 